80s debuted in October of 2018 with two songs from their EP titled Treasure Episode 1 All to Zero. Those songs being Pirate King and Treasure. Hong Jung and Mingi were involved in writing the lyrics for all the songs on the EP which is something I completely respect from an artist. The album title All to Zero is meant to reflect new beginnings and the struggles that they went through as trainees. Now I've been told that the concept from the album was based on the book Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson but I'll need a real acne in the comments to let me know if that's actually true. Also, I'd love you guys to educate me on the 80s universe concept. Apparently it starts with pirates, but I'd love you guys to teach me the ways of 80s. So today we're going to check out Pirate King, and then next week we're going to check out Treasure. I'm really excited. I love what they've done so far, and I really love the pirate theme stuff that I heard in Symphony No. 9 from the Wonderland. So I'm hoping that I'm seeing some more of that in this track. I'm imagining I will, because it's called Pirate King. I guess the only thing left to do is to roll the intro music. Welcome back to Pete's videos if you're new here. Ugh. Welcome back to Pete's videos if you're new here. My name's Pete. I'm a musician from New Zealand who reviews and reacts to music videos and the like. But that's not all I can do. One time I killed a man in cold blood. Just kidding, probably. Before we kick off, let's sing the subscriber song. There's a special button you can press. Well, make sure you never feel alone again. Subscribe. If you press it, welcome home, my friend. Don't be Oh man, what a beat. That's crazy. That sounds so good. These guys can dance like nobody's business. Say, hey, they're really good movers. They're out in this kind of like desert land at the moment, just doing the thing, kind of dancing with this kind of cool aesthetic behind them, and I like it. I really, really dig the beat though. This is really cool. I love the synth sounds they use. It's reminiscent of the synth sounds that they use in The Real, although I think The Real was produced after this, or so I'm not too sure if it's from the same album or not. Someone's going to need to educate me on that. But the beat's sick. It really slaps, and that hook was cool. I love that artificial auto-tune sound that they put over it to give it that kind of swaggy, drippy sound. That's neat. And the harmonies that they threw over top of that also added to it quite nicely. Real cool. The rap was dope. The vocals were dope. I kind of dig the lyrics as well. Let's get a real good vibe to the song so far. I'm really enjoying it. I can, this is a really strong debut. I do like how it's just them and a desert. And it's kind of just like, we're dancing, we're making music, we're doing this thing. It doesn't need to be an elaborate story all the time, but it's kind of cool. The, the outfits are tight. They're in this cool little desert area. I'm kind of keen to see where it goes, if it goes anywhere. If not, this is kind of that song that's kind of swaggy enough where you don't really need some big elaborate shit going on. You can just kind of get down with the fact that it, it rocks, it sounds good, and they look good at what they're doing. All right, let's go to the next verse. I know that Hong Jung's about to rap because he, the little laugh came in, but we're just going to cut back a little bit. <laughs>
Very cool. Very cool. I love that little line. I've only heard two songs from 80s so far and every song that I've heard from them just before the hook or the the main yeah the main hook drops there's a little cut in vocal line. They've done it here with the little girl saying will you be my friend. It's kind of creepy actually. I love it. I think it's really cool. This verse was cool. Like Hong Jung started off really nice that he does this really cool rhythmic rap that I like that's melodic. Like I love melodic raps. Give me more melodic raps. I'm like no 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 I want to yeah, eat the melodic rap. That was cringe. And I love the way the drums are kind of like almost had this like dance hall kind of rhythm to them. It kind of came in in the in the middle of the, the second verse. It was kind of this mm, mm, kind of like, I don't know if it's dance hall so much, but it felt dance hall inspired rhythmically. Very cool. Can't wait to see how they finish it off. It kind of feels like it's building to something. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Love this. Thought it was really cool. Some really cool camera shots, really cool dance moves, a couple of cool different outfits out in this desert, out in these cool like sort of uh, scenic areas. Really neat. Love that. You don't have to go super hardcore. The song is nice. It's the kind of song that comes on, you want to move. Like I was struggling to stay in my seat, you know what I'm saying? I was almost ready to get up, start breaking and move. You guys don't want that. No one wants to see me try and dance. But the point is, the song slaps. I really like their music. The beat is just a banger. I just can't get over how dope the beat is, how good they sound in it, and their use of rhythm. It's just phenomenal. And they're really good dancers as well. Just super impressed. Really love what they're doing. I can't wait to see more. Can't wait to check out Treasure next week. Anyway, if you'd like, ATs and you like the Pirate King song then hit the like button and if you like me then hit the subscribe button and if you don't like me then I'm not gonna share any of my treasure with you. Mwah, 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 mwah. See you in the next one. Peace.